Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Steve, and welcome to my world. Happy Easter, everybody. Uh, today is the Easter holiday, and we will be putting together another LEGO Brickheads. We have the Easter Chick. Last uh, season, which I just put out a couple days ago, was the Easter Bunny. This time, the new series has Easter Chick. So we have Valentine's Day, we had the puppy, which we did. We have the chick. Looks like we're gonna have an East, or uh, I'm sorry, a Halloween ghost, and then we're gonna have a reindeer and elf and elfie for Christmas. So we haven't got those yet, but this is for ages 10 and over, 120 pieces. Uh, we are going to get this thing open and see what we have. And I went to my Disney store, and they no longer have any more of the brickheads that I don't have. So I am all caught up with them. There are just a few that I am missing, and we will keep being on the search for all of those. We're gonna go ahead and move the camera down just so you guys can see what we're working with. With all Lego Brick Kids, we get a really nicely detailed instruction booklet. It tells us how we're going to build our chick. Let's go ahead and get the pieces open here. There's one bag and two bags. Okay, oops. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna move this uh, black piece out here. It's gonna be his stand. We're also gonna move the box off camera just to prevent any focusing issues. And let's get started. So we are going to take and put, we have these yellow pieces and then we have these gold pieces that are a little bit more towards the orangey color. We'll call them orange for this video. So we're gonna take two of these orange eight pieces, uh, eight piece blocks, and then we're gonna add a two piece yellow right across the edges here to hold them together. So one there, and there's the other one. One there. And then we're gonna put these really thick, tall one piece yellow blocks right here behind them. So one there, and the other right there. All right, up next we're gonna take a two piece yellow, a thick two piece yellow, it looks like this. It's a regular two piece and it's got these holes in the middle of it, um, only on one side. We're gonna take that, we're gonna actually put the holes towards the outside. That's where we usually fo uh, fasten things to. So we wanna make sure that is on the outside. Then we're gonna take a thick red circle and we're gonna put that right in the middle. That is gonna be filler material so it will not be seen. And then we're gonna take this four piece thick yellow, put it right here on the front, just like that. Okay, up next we're gonna use these four piece, or these big two piece grays that are coming in almost all brick heads. Got two pieces here, four pegs on the sides. Uh, we're gonna put them on these two sides with the pegs out so that we do have a surface to fasten to. And then we're going to take and add these pieces that look like this. So they are a one piece block and they got a little shield coming off of them almost, coming down. So we're gonna take two of these and we're gonna put them um, on, let's see here, oops, missed a step. So we uh, have another four piece this, another one of these four piece thick yellows we're gonna put across the back first. Now we're gonna put them on there. One right here on the back, like that in the middle. One right next to it, right there. Then we're gonna put another one of these thick red piece circles right here in the middle. And then we're gonna put two more of these one piece yellows with the shield coming off the front right here in the middle as well, there and there. Okay, there you go. All right, up next we're gonna take and we're gonna add two one-piece blocks. So they're just singular one-piece blocks on each corner here. Oops, and I pulled the bottom off. So we're gonna put those there, there. And then over here we're gonna have two more as well. One there and here. And then we're gonna put one of these yellow pieces that has the shield coming off of it on each corner there. So one right here. And then again, one right here. All right, up next. We are going to take and add four L-shaped yellows. Oops, not the ones with the purple. They look like this, okay? We're gonna put them on all four corners, just like that. So we're gonna put one there, and one here, and one there, and finally one over here. All right, up next, we're gonna take a two-piece thick block, yellow, and we're gonna stick it right here in the front just like that. Okay, up next we're gonna take and we're gonna build a couple things here. We're gonna do this twice. So we're gonna take a four piece yellow and then we're gonna take a, this is an actual orange. Oh no, it's not, I'm sorry, let's see here. 
Oh, we got some several different shades, but this one is going to look like this. It's a little darker. It's got these little uh, triangles coming off the top of it. We're going to put one just like this, and then we're going to take and add one of these yellow curved up step pieces. It looks like that, and it's too wide. We're going to put that on top of that so it looks like this. We do that one more time, so we need the four piece yellow, the light orange thing with the triangles, and then a curved stepped up piece just like that. We're going to take those, and these are going to be his hands. We're going to take those and we're going to put them right here on the side, just like that, with the fingers coming down. So one there, and one there. Okay, up next we're going to take six more of these thick two-piece grays. We're going to line them all the way around the outside. We're going to start with two in the back, and then we're going to put one up each side, and two in the front. And of course we want to make sure that we keep the pegs all to the outside so that we have a nice surface to fasten to. And one right there. Okay, up next we are going to build some filler materials. So we are going to take two of these really thick four-piece blues. We're going to put them together. We're going to put a circular green disc right on top of that there. And then we're going to take a thick four-piece pink, put it there. We're going to shove it down inside the middle here and give it a big squeeze to lock it in place. And then we're going to outline the outside again with four more or six more of these four piece or two piece thick grays with four pegs come off the side. Except we're gonna alternate them, so this time we're gonna put one in the back, and then we're gonna put two down each side, and then of course we're going to put one in the front, just like this. Okay, up next, we are going to take and add a 16 piece yellow right on the top and squeeze down. Now it's pretty solid, and this is what we have so far. There's the front, one of the sides, back, and the other side. Okay, then we're going to take another 16 piece yellow, we're going to put it right here on the front, just like that. And then we're going to take a smooth 8 piece yellow, we're going to put it right there across the top. Then we're going to take a smooth 4 piece yellow with one peg on either end, looks like that. And then we're going to take a 2 piece yellow, we're going to stick it right here in the middle on the bottom, followed up with a smooth 1 piece yellow on either side, one there, and one there. Okay. Up next, we're going to add his eyes. With almost all brick heads, you have the same configuration. You have a big square, little square on a black disc. You want a big square upper left, little square bottom right. Make sure you try to get them lined up before you put them on because they are difficult to spin once they are on. So there's one, and there's the other. Okay, now we're going to add his beak, which is just going to be two of these orange triangles. Put one here like this. Get it straightened. And then we're going to put one on the opposite side, right over here, like this. And there is his beak. Chirp, chirp. Okay, next we're going to turn them all the way over to this side here. We're going to take two of these pieces that look like this. They are just a curved piece, okay? And they're really long. We're going to put those one right here on this side, and then the other one here so that it makes a nice curve on the side of his head. We're also going to do that to the other side as well. Oops, not that way. So one right there, and then one right there as well. And it gives him a nice curve to his head. Okay, up next, we're gonna take another 16 piece yellow. We're gonna put it right here across the grays, just like that. And then we're gonna take this yellow triangle piece that looks like this, and it's too wide. We're gonna put that with the high side up to give him a little tail. All right, then we're gonna take a smooth eight piece, put it across the top. Followed up by another smooth eight piece right there to cover up, and there is our chick. Okay, we're gonna turn him upside down. We're gonna add another eight piece that looks like this, a little darker color of probably light orange, we were calling it. Put him right there in the middle. Then we're gonna take and build two sets of, let him do a headstand while we're doing this. We're gonna take these pieces that look like this. They're gonna be feet, so they're across and they're tan. We're gonna take two of these regular oranges and we're going to put them right here on the back, just like this. And then another one right on top, just like this. Do the same thing to this other one. So there, there, and there. Okay. And then we're going to take those and we're going to put them right here on either side with these toes, the other part of the tan coming out. So we've got one there and one there. And there is our chick's feet. Okay, up next we're going to take this one piece or this four piece yellow with just a one peg in the middle of it, put it right here in the center just like that, 
And then we're gonna take this piece that looks like this. It's a curved step piece and it's orange. We're gonna put that right here and there's our chick. Okay, now we're gonna build a stand. We're gonna set him right here in the background. We're gonna take this black piece, looks like this. Then we're gonna take this longer black piece and put it right underneath the front like that. Then we're gonna take and add these green pieces that look like this with a big curve on them. We put one there and one there. Then we're gonna take and flip this upside down like this. We're gonna add another six piece black, okay, right here across the front like that. Then we're gonna add a two piece green up here on either corner there and here. Then we're gonna take these circular green discs and we're gonna put them one right here and then one over here on this side, just like that to hold it all together. We're gonna flip it back over like this. We take a smooth uh, two piece or four piece, put it on the second row up, just like that. Then we're gonna take a smooth four piece with one peg on either side, right there. I don't know if you can see that if I get the light to focus on it. And then we're gonna take a smooth eight piece, put it right there above that. Then we're gonna take two of these uh, light green pieces that have one peg in the middle of them. We're gonna put them one right here, and then we're gonna put one over here on the other side, just like that. All right, next up we're gonna build some look, look to be flowery things. So we're gonna take some green triangles that look like this, just one piece. We're gonna put one of them right here next to there, and then we're gonna put another one over here on this side, like that. And then we're gonna put this blue one piece round block right here like that. And then we're going to take a pink one and put it on the other side like that. Okay, then we're going to take these eggs that look like this. Okay, and we're going to put one right here. And then we're going to put one over here like this. And then we're going to take these really cool look like leaves or stems, something like that. And we're going to put them one right here in this corner. And then we're going to put one over here in this corner as well. Alrighty, up next we're going to put that down for just a second while we build an actual flower. So we're going to take these pieces that look like this, they are green pieces that got little flower petals around the sides of them. So we're going to take three of those on top of each other. There's one, there is two, and there is three, okay. Then we're going to take the, this green leaf that looks like this, we're going to put that on top of there. And then we're gonna take this white piece that looks like this. It's got nothing on the bottom, just a big square, but it's got a peg here and pegs all the way around it. Okay, and you can see through them all. We're gonna put that right on top, like this. Then we're gonna take this yellow, or light orange propane looking tank. We're gonna put that right on top, like that. And then we're going to take these white pieces that look like this, they're curved step piece. And we're going to put them on each corner right here. So one here, like this. One like this. Whoops, dropped it. One like this. And then one finally over here on this side. Okay, and then we're going to take that whole contraption and we're going to stick it right back here on the corner. Okay, up next we're going to do pretty much the same thing except it's going to be purple. So we're going to take these three green pieces, again, that had flower petals, put them together. There, there, and here. Okay, then we're going to put a leaf on top, just like before. We're going to put this white block that had pegs on all sides. Like, oops, this. And then we're going to put a purple propane tank on top this time. And purple all the way around. So one here with these curved stepped up pieces. One there, one here. That one didn't stay. And finally, one on this side. Okay, and then we're gonna take that whole thing and we're going to put it back here on this corner like so. All right, so there we have our stand. So we are going to take our chick, we are going to pick him up, and we're going to put him right here just like that, and there he is. There is our Happy Easter Chick. Really, really cool brickhead. I really love these things. I'm saying really a lot, I know. 
But guys, um, please go check out my partner channel, Mouse Talk. They do a fantastic job over there, Walt and Melissa. They are great people. I'll leave their, li their link is in the description below. Please go check them out. Guys, have a massively, massively happy Easter. Also, go check out my 500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, without your guys' support, yeah, we couldn't do it, any of this. So go, we're giving, doing a giveaway. Please go check it out. It is also on my channel. And then, what do you guys think about this little guy? Please leave me a comment down below and let me know. Um, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything from us. And as always, guys, have fun. Thanks for living in my world, and we will see you next time.